before we get into the very short intro, most of you are aware that I've been covering Greg, you know, his battle with cancer for a very long time. I've been posting all of Nene Leak's Instagram lives and just everything that she's been doing to update her supporters on this matter. I'm praying for Greg. I'm praying for the family. Uh, thank you all for praying for him on the last video. It's over a hundred thousand views. Wow. A lot of you love Greg. And so it's not about the views. I only pointed that out because a lot of you love Greg. And regardless of how you feel about Nene or whatever, that's happening okay a lot of you left nothing but positive comments and pray for him so thank you but thank you so much and i'm sure nini and her family are appreciative of all of you now let's get into the short intro into what nini shared recently at her club what's up my friend i love sisters finna d coming to you all from Vina team and news hi, hi nini hi, hi. i hope you guys are enjoying the yeah. uh, can you cut the music for a second, please? Yes. How y'all doing? All right. I hope everybody's enjoying the lounge tonight. Um, I had a few people, too, approach me about a birthday, right? Yes. You got to say, happy birthday. Yes, yes. Listen, happy birthday. Thank you. But happy please, birthday. I'm asking everybody in this lounge, I had no idea I was going to walk in here and grab this microphone and make an announcement. But I want to say this to you. I'm in this and I want to be at peace. If you see me, you see my son, give us a lot of love, okay? My husband is transitioned to the other side. I am not in the mood to say happy birthday to you guys. Oh, you guys approached me if that was rude. The real truth is you're rude. You don't know what we're dealing with right now. Yes. We walk in this lounge because we have to walk in here because this is our business. Yes. So when people approach and say you're rude, because you don't want to say happy birthday, my husband is at home dying. Yes. And I don't want to say happy birthday, okay? Yes. So please give us some respect, give us some love, okay? Yes. That's what we ask you to do. You see my son right here, he's hurting, I'm hurting. We yes. walk in here because we have to walk yes. in here. Because we have this business. But my husband is losing his life at this very moment. So when you stepped to me and told me I was rude, I really was upset by that. Because sometimes you don't know what people are dealing with and what people are going through, okay? My husband is not going to be here in the next couple of days, okay? I'm really upset that I have to grab the microphone and even put that out into the atmosphere because somebody... Take your bleep home. The people came out to be happy and celebrate. It's not the time for you to be out. She's so weird to me. We know you're hurting and therefore you should be surrounded by family and close friends. Take your bleep home. Let them people be. With all due respect to Greg, but you're in a nightclub. I wouldn't care if he said no baby go. So why not say happy birthday to someone celebrating life, but you want someone to give you some respect? The foolishness is too foolish. Make it make sense. Praying. So why isn't she there with him by his side? I really be trying to like her. I really do. That's plain inconsiderate. Why are you at a club and not with him? What are people supposed to do with this information given in this way? Prayers for Greg. So if he's at home dying, why aren't you with him? If this is the case, you are clearly not in a headspace to be at the club and making an announcement about why, why you cannot wish someone a happy birthday. She have stayed home, shaking my head. He's at home dying while she's at the club on the mic making announcements about someone saying she's rude. We're not the same. She claims she had to be there last night. No, Nene, you didn't. You have choices. And your first and your first choice should have been to be home with Greg for every last second he has left. Yeah, no. Still could have said happy birthday. You said you walked in because you had to. Everyone else came by choice supporting your business. No matter what's going on, you have a business like you said. And should uphold that to every standard, not just physically showing up. A simple, a simple happy B day would have been cool, but to get on the mic and bleep everyone's vibe up with what you got going on now. But prayers for Greg. 
you don't want to say happy birthday so why did you come this is weird if you are in a club mingling how would people know you are in a bad mood and your husband is passing go be with your family your sons and husband needs you she needs a good club manager she can trust so she don't have to leave Greg's side. Prayers up for her family. I'm sorry, but why is she at the club? I don't care if she owns it. Your husband is transitioning. Mm, I don't know. Should have stayed home if you ain't in the mood because your husband transitioning. I'm sorry to hear about Greg, but Nini is using it for attention. Shaking my head. Um, so why are you out? Don't come here with that ugly BS child. If this is the case, you are clearly not in the headspace. And I think I already read this one. So, wow. Um, wow. All I can say is just keep Nini and her family lifted in your prayers. There's a lot more comments, but I'm going to stop there because I want to jump in. This is almost like you calling customer service. I understand Nini is a public figure, okay? And she's been very vocal, even on the Red House of Atlanta, about her husband battle. Now, recently, it wasn't on TV. She said this in an interview on Instagram Live. Oh, how's Greg? I didn't ask that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Greg is... So, so he's in the hospital. Um, yeah, he's in the hospital. He's been in the hospital. Uh, tomorrow will be a week. Uh, I haven't talked publicly about that. This is the first time I'm saying something about it. So, yeah, he's in the hospital. Uh, he's been there a week tomorrow. Um, I'm sure he'll be home in about a week or so. He had to have a surgery. Um, so his cancer did return. Okay, how are you? How are you guys handling? How are you guys handling that? It's uh, it's difficult. Um, he's uh, different. Uh, he's super small. Um, so if you ever uh, been around somebody that's had cancer before, um, yeah, it's different. He's different. He's different. Now, not everyone is on social media. Not everyone. It's on YouTube, reading the blogs and things like that. So there are some people who the last time they heard of Greg is him celebrating being cancer free. So not everyone knows that Greg is no longer cancer free, right? And is fighting for his life. So it's almost like you go into the bank, to the grocery store, calling customer service or wherever and the customer service rep is just rude. And you're like, well, if you're having a bad day, then why did you come to work? Or why are you here? And why are you giving me this innocent person who is simply coming in your space an attitude when I don't even know you like that, right? I think one of the reasons why people are responding this way is during the video, Nini kept pointing her finger to the table and then she called the people at the table rude so what people are saying is that we understand what you're going through we empathize with you it's sad what you're going through and we are praying for you but isn't it possible that these people that came out to support your establishment had no clue what you were going through and they saw you, got excited, wanted pictures because it was one of the people there, birthday. And then based on what you're going through, you had an attitude. How are they supposed to know that you were or you are having a bad day? Okay. I think that's where people are coming from. No one knows what anybody's going through, but does that mean the innocent people in a situation needs to be met with your terrible attitude, especially if they didn't know. Now, if you listen to the video, you would hear the people having empathy and their voice saying, hi, Nini, and they are listening and responding but people are just simply saying now these people didn't intentionally just attack her or were rude to her they came to support her establishment saw her got excited a person is putting in a video on tiktok 
Nini attempting to read my friend part one. So the person wasn't even thinking she was about to say something that deep or sensitive or what her husband is going through. So I think that's the reason why people are coming down on her. But as we can all see, she's definitely not in the headspace. And the person who wrote that she needs a manager that she can trust, absolutely. Because if she had that person that she could trust yet, then she would step away for a little bit. But I completely understand this is her club. This is her baby. A lot is riding on this club success. She's putting her all into it and showing her face, being there, people spreading the word. Nini is always there. She's so nice. She comes by the table. She have conversations. She takes pictures. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. People are going to take that back and say, oh, this is my chance to meet Nini. I'm seeing all of her social media. Everyone is meeting Nini. Let me go to her club to meet her too. You know, and there's also a new business. So she wants to make sure that they make a name for themselves, establish their name in the neighborhood and their name in the club business. Then she can fall back a little bit and say, okay, I can rest now. But you can't just turn over your baby into a stranger hand. Yes, a manager might come by with all of their credentials, but that doesn't mean that she knows this person personally and is just going to trust and she's going to fall back. That's with any new business. You, you know, you are there and investing your time and all of that. And once you feel like, okay, we're good, then you can fall back a little bit. And this is why it's also hard for Nene, her husband, her backbone, the backbone of the family wasn't going through what he's going through. She won't be there every day. She wouldn't be there every day. But she knows Greg is there. Greg got this. Greg got us. Greg will handle this. She even said this in one of her Instagram live videos when Greg got sick for the first time. She said, I don't even know who to call for the cable bill. I don't even know who to call for, you know, to pay the gas or electric. I don't know because Greg handled everything. I just came in the house with the money and left to go make some more money. But Greg did all of that. And I also understand what everyone else is saying that there are some people saying that Nini is not obligated to tell anyone happy birthday in her club. And I get that as well. And I also understand that she is going through a lot. Now, the other confusing factor is three hours ago, Nini posted this right here, reposted this right here to her page, and she's dancing. Boys down in the drink, good in the motherfucker, bitch. Hey, come on, Nini. Nini, where you at? Hey, hey. So, and people are confused, but we have to understand that everyone handled grief differently. And we all know the different stages of grief. You know, at first you're in shock and denial. Right now, I don't think sitting at home and watching her husband as someone she's known for 20 plus years pass away is something that she wants to see. And she's currently suppressing all of that by escaping to the club, by dancing, by smiling, all of that. Even before Greg got sick, this is not the first time people have had issues about Nini not being approachable. But regardless, all we can do is pray for her and pray for the family. It's clear that she's going through a lot right now. She probably felt like this was necessary because now people would just leave her be, you know, because people had a lot of nice things to say about Nene. She stopped, she took pictures and, you know, things like that on other social media posts, you know, that she did. People had nothing but nice things to say about her being approachable and all of that. And she simply just had a bad night and for good reasons. I'm, I'm praying for Greg. I mean, the ending of the last video that I posted when she picked him up from the hospital a while ago and the tears in the car, I will never forget that moment. It's just very, very sad.
You need to let the seat up. Okay. It's good. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank you. You guys are rolling out of pits. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, take care. Yes. I already recorded all of this and then I just heard the lady responded. The woman who recorded the video said that she never asked Nene for a picture. But if you hear the woman's voice, she doesn't sound like someone who was like upset. She said, if you hear my voice, there's no hostility in my voice. Um, we respect Nene and Greg. I never asked for a picture. I never called her rude. She said a stranger told Nene that it was my friend's birthday and asked her to send a shout out to her friend. And that's that. And it, and it happens when you go to the club and you're celebrating a birthday. You know, sometimes you might give the DJ your name. When a DJ does his birthday shout out set, he shout out everyone in the club that's having a birthday. Or if you pay a certain amount or you are in a certain section, that might come with a birthday shout out as well. But she said that if you listen to the video and you hear my voice, I don't even sound mad. We don't even sound mad at the table. We're like, you know, hi, Nene. We're very pleasant in the video. So at this point, I'm wishing everyone well. Greg over there fighting for his life and people over here fighting above birthday shout out to priorities. Mm, mm, mm. This video is probably scattered and all over the place. I'm doing my best to tell exactly what happened, give social media and other people opinion while still maintaining empathy because this is a sensitive subject. I mean, we all watch the Red House World for Atlanta and to just know that, you know, according to Nene, it's possible that Greg won't be here with us anymore. It's a lot. Okay, so I'm doing my best to balance it out. I would end it on this note. When you are aware that a celebrity owns an establishment, you go there because of their name. You go there to see you know, the atmosphere, the food, and the list goes on and on, right? Especially if this is someone you support heavy, you also go there to support them. If you ever come across that person that is just an added bonus like oh my gosh i went to candy i didn't expect to see candy or nini they just happened to be there that's the added bonus that's the icing on the cake literally she was celebrating her birthday but these celebrities are not obligated to be there right even though nini advertised that she's going to be there she's not obligated to be there and to take pictures just to touch that you went to a Nene Leaks club, you know? So, but the lady said, she's saying they didn't say nothing. They didn't do nothing. Someone told Nene and Nene just went off without asking questions, without going to the table and asking them, you know, did you say this? But like I said, Nene been making these announcements in an unexpected way. She wasn't expecting herself to talk about her husband being sick in that interview. And now she had to get on the mic in her club to announce this. 
So, um, yeah, all we can do, like I keep saying over and over again, is lift the family up in prayers. Um, I have linked the last video I did on Nene and Greg and their family in the description below. It's the very first link in the description below if you want to watch it. If you also want to watch all of the videos and Instagram lives that I posted on Greg's journey, you can also go to the Red House of Atlanta playlist and watch those videos. Take care, everyone. The end of here, my friend. I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.